Hi, this is Lila and today is bake day. If you saw my last video, I made a lemon fluff dessert, which was very, very good. And I highly recommend it. So if you'd like to check that video out, please do. Now this recipe here that I'm making today is called pudding cookie cake. Or cookie pudding cake, however you want to say it. This was a recipe that I um, tried many, many years ago um, from my sister-in-law. And uh, she gave me the recipe. And it's very, very good. So here is the uh, first part of this dessert. Now, this is the crust for the um, pudding cookie cake. This is the same crust that I used for the lemon fluff dessert. So this consists of one cup of all-purpose flour, one fourth cup of powdered sugar, and one cup of chopped nuts. You can use walnuts or uh, pecans, or in my case, I'm using a combination of both because I didn't have enough of walnuts. So I have a mixture here of walnuts and pecans. And um, a cup of um, cold and sliced butter. The butter has to be really, really cold. And you just combine it into fine crumb mixture. And then you press it into a 9x13 pan and you bake it for 13 minutes. We're not browning it. We're just like baking it okay so this is what it looks like and this has to be completely cooled okay not slightly cool not a little bit warm I mean cool cool where you can you know touch the bottom and and everything so that's the first step to this dessert okay so I already did that earlier this morning okay and now we're gonna put a layer on top of this so what we're gonna put on top of the cookie crust is this filling that I have here now this is cream cheese. This is two packages of Philadelphia cream cheese and a cup of powdered sugar blended very well together. Now this filling is going to go on top of the cooled cookie crust. Okay? So I'll bring you back when I have that done. Okay, I'm back with the next step. As you can see here, here is our cream cheese and powdered sugar filling. And the next step is we're going to add the pudding mix. Here is the pudding mix that's going on top of the cream cheese layer. This is a large uh, package of the Jell-O brand instant chocolate pudding. It has to be instant, okay? So I already mixed this up with some whole milk and then I'm going to uh, uh, spread this over the cream cheese filling and then I'll bring you back for the next step. Okay, I'm back, and here is the instant chocolate pudding mix on top of the cream cheese layer. And I used a, a bench scraper to smooth it all out to make it nice and even. And the last step now to go on top of this delicious dessert is going to be Cool Whip. I'm going to put this entire tub of Cool Whip, original Cool Whip. You can use extra creamy if you have it on top of the chocolate. And then we will uh, set this in the refrigerator for at least four hours. This is also a dessert that you can do the night before, which I highly suggest. This way you can really set up. Um, even though the cream cheese is already set up, it's the pudding part that you want to um, make sure is set up. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put my Cool Whip on top of there. And then we'll be done. So please come back. Okay, here is my completed pudding cookie cake recipe. The final topping was the Cool Whip. And now all we're going to do is just pop this into the refrigerator for four hours at the minimum. Overnight is like I said best. Hi I'm back. I just wanted to show you the final product of my dessert for bake day. And here it is. I cut a really nice big generous piece just to show you how it looks. I had this in the refrigerator for six hours and you can garnish this on top with some shavings, some chocolate shavings or some more uh, chopped peanuts or walnuts. It's up to you or leave it plain like this. So this is Lila. I hope you enjoyed my recipe for bake day and I'll see you on the next bake day. Thanks for watching.